So yeah, I slightly think it's a good thing that um, <clears throat> quote unquote, black people can't get nowhere in the workplace because that forces you to take initiative. This is people's problem. Too many people are followers. They got employees mindset, man. Yeah. They expect people to provide things for them instead of taking initiative and going out and getting it themselves. That's why these celebrities are taking back what they're saying because they have employees mindsets. Yeah? They get comfortable. Yeah? They don't think about providing for themselves. They don't think about being the leader of their, their, their lives or you know taking control of their life. We all need to shake this employee's mindset. It's, 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 no one was put on it. Whether you want to believe in God or not, that's up to you, isn't it? Yeah? But if you believe in God, you can say, yeah, God has not put me on this earth to work for anyone else, isn't it? Yeah? I don't believe in God. So I'll just say no one was put on this earth to work for no one else. Yeah? If, you, if you truly are comfortable, yeah, ask yourself this question right now, whether you're live or you're watching this as a replay in, in, yeah, in an hour's time or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? Are you really comfortable with taking orders from someone else? Because I'm not. I'm not comfortable with taking orders from someone else. Yeah, yeah. obviously I can take orders from someone else, but that's only for a period of time. Yeah? There's certain times where I think to myself, like, nah, fuck this, man. Like, why is man telling me, uh, oh, demanding? Yeah, or, you know, nah, man. Okay, I'm not comfortable with taking orders from no one. Yeah? And if you if you truly are comfortable with taking orders from someone, then you're you're a follower. You're not a leader. Shit. I'm not comfortable taking orders from nobody. Yeah. You know what? I just have like this burning desire mm. to go out and kind of like conquer the world. Mm. And I think that's probably why a lot of people they do get complacent, as man like A. Y. London said. Mm. I just have this desire to go out and conquer the world. So if you have a desire to conquer the world, you won't sit back and be complacent. You won't be happy with just there's, there's some people, right? They accept this as their life, right? You know, born, go to school, go to college or sixth form, then go to university, get a job, find a spouse, yeah, get married, have kids, work for 35 million years, get your pension and die. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck that bullshit. I don't want to live that lifestyle. That's too normal. That's too simple. You got fucking pensioners, right? They're, they're bored out of their brain. Man, yeah? they're just waiting to die. Yeah? Their, their routine is get up and walk their dog. Yeah? Their routine is up oh, on a Monday morning, get up and pay these bills at the post office and then go home and watch TV. Fuck that lifestyle, man. Life is, ugh, life is too, there's too much out there to just settle for a mediocrity. I don't like mediocrity. I hate it. I hate it. I've said this before on videos before and I still stand by this today. If someone gave me a crystal ball and said, that basically my lifestyle would be just like what I just mentioned about, you know, born, go to school, go to college, go to university, get a job, find a spouse on fucking Tinder, get married, have kids, um, work for 35 years and then and then um, get a pension and die. I'll say, fuck it. What's the point of living? What is the point of living if you're going to live a mediocre life? What's the point? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ben, take risks. You have to. You have to. When you watch some of these um, YouTube videos, older people, right, man who are like 60, 70, 80 years old, they will say, right, unless there's some fucking, 
if they got like the employee's mindset and they're just a beta person or whatever, in it, yeah, to put it in terms that you can understand, right? If they're just an average person, they ain't gonna feel like this. But someone who has an extraordinary mindset or whatever, in it, someone who wants to get places in life, the older people who are 70, 80 years old, they will always say, I wish I took more risks when I was younger. You don't want to be that person who gets to 70, 80 years old and thinks to himself, you want to take more risks. I saw a fucking video yesterday on YouTube, a 17 year old, he got like 70,000 subscribers. I'm thinking, fuck, why did I not jump on YouTube back in the day? Now, obviously, YouTube back in the day, like 10 years ago, was it was more of a no one really done it like that, innit? So, it, you know, it weren't really the thing to jump on back then, innit? Yeah, but obviously, there were men that did, innit? Yeah, but I'm sure back in the day, like 10 years ago, some people were just YouTube was just man walking down the street with their phone in their hand, documenting their fucking day, documenting their walk through the park, through the canal. Yeah, no, I don't know. I I didn't really watch YouTube back then when I was 17 or whatever. But put it this way, guys, yeah. You see, like, how I talk now? I've been talking like this since I was 20 years old. I wish, I wish, wish, wish that I was talking like this and I was jumping on YouTube when I was seven years ago when I was 20 years old. But you know what? I'm glad I jumped on YouTube a year ago or whatever, in it, yeah. Instead of in five years' time, yeah, when I'm 32. Yeah, thinking, I wish I jumped on YouTube when I was 27 or something like that. So start taking risks today, yeah? Not tomorrow, not the day after, yeah? Oh, let me just get this done. No, ASAP, because the day you do and the day you start getting results, you're going to think to yourself, why the fuck did I not try that five years ago when I first had the thought? Mm-hmm. Come on, we must, everyone must be thinking about some kind of business plan or, or, or some kind of, yeah, risk that they could take. Man, you got a little idea, right? If it, Especially if it doesn't cost much money, yeah? Especially if it's local five bills, yeah? 500 pounds that you can fling away and forget about, yeah? You need to try out that idea. It's only 500 pounds. And if you ain't got that 500 pounds to just throw away and forget about and don't mind if you lose, then you got a fucking problem. Yeah? You need to cut down your, your living expenses because I know there's, there's a lot of stuff in your life that you don't need. Sigh. Yeah? Going out to all these fancy restaurants. Yeah? Going out to all these clubs. Man and gal, you know, going out on the weekend, yeah? Spending two, three hundred pounds in a club. I've never done that. I've never even spent two hundred pounds going to clubs in a year. Cause I don't go out like that. I ain't that type of person. Yeah. Cut down your lifestyle. Yeah. Don't go out every single weekend. Yeah. But the reason why you feel like you need to go out every single weekend because you're working a job that you don't like. You're working a job you don't like, so you feel like you need to... Yeah. When really... Obviously, work the job you don't like, kill it, yeah, but save up and so you can put yourself in a position where you can try new things. One day, or there'll be a time in your life where you don't, you're not able to go out every single weekend, yeah? You're going to have to cut back on your social time. But there will come a time in your life, yeah? There'll come a time in my life where I don't ever have to work again. And every day will be like the weekend for me. That's what I'm trying to achieve, yeah? Fuck all this annual leave and yeah you, you get certain days off or you get weekends off or you know that people they, they periodically do their two week uh, two holidays a year nah fuck that i'm putting myself in a position where every day is a fucking holiday yeah even if i have to wait 20 years yeah every day is a fucking holiday delayed gratification let me check the messages